Why are we always talking about sex? I'm molding. What is it? Molting? Molding? Molting? I might as well just listen to jazz. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya aka Maya Maya for the new subscribers for the returning. Hey girl. Hey. So today we are going to eat night. So we're about to do this face. I got my makeup bag and we're just going to jump right into it. So my face is already clean, so we are going to prep. We got this LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. I'm about to use this on my face real quick. Okay, so I just noticed that uh, a lot is changing. I just mean within my life. I am now 29. I have six months almost. On the 26th, it'll be six months exactly until I turn 30. And I don't like the same shit. I don't want to be friends with a lot of the people that I'm already friends with. No offense to them, but like I just find myself pulling back. But then I go, you know what? It's no need in like letting people know. I guess time will tell and life will happen and they'll realize, hey, we're just not as close as we once were. And I guess it'll fall off. I don't know. But I just, I'm not really in the same space anymore. I want so much more for my life. And on top of that, even career wise, like me being an actress, I sat here and I was like, yo, I don't know if this is it. <laughs> At least right, not right now. Don't get me wrong. I love acting. But acting has been like that boyfriend that like just won't give you what you're exactly asking for constantly makes you try to like prove yourself or gaslight you whether you're good enough in this relationship and then you may or may not last at this point in my life i just don't want to be on the fence with anything anymore it's either definite or it's not and i'm just i'm over it okay so this is the number 10 of Fenty beauty ease drop this is a blurring skin tint slight little moisturizer but just with a tint okay i don't know i don't know i don't know i think i'm more focused on just trying to make a little for myself especially being 30 and not really knowing what you want to do my thing is i know what i want to do it's just it takes some time i want to be secure i want to help with consistent consistent contribution to my family and my household i want to get married i don't know if y'all know i am engaged i want to get married for me it was kind of like a constant goose chase of will this work will this not there's a million light skinned black girls kind of like i'm fighting to prove that i'm good enough and show like my difference and then i'm sitting here and i'm like i'm different which then makes me question my work and that's one thing that i stopped doing baby i'm worth it i'm good enough because i like started getting in Ooh, <laughs> i wanted to do my eyebrows first i'm continuing to put this foundation on and i'm gonna blend it all it's gonna work it's all gonna work out okay i'm talking about my face it's gonna work out so i'm sitting here and i'm like i am trying to be the best woman that i know that i am and this industry just constantly makes me question like whether i'm worth it or not and not the fact that like i didn't do my self work because i'm in therapy but at the same time i had to step away from it and realize like my value my worth had to sit here and tell myself listen baby they don't determine anything you do god does i just have to step away and do me like sort my life out what do i want what don't i want get rid of it and that's where the friendships come into play me and people just aren't on the same page and it's not everybody don't get me wrong not everybody but that's just a big portion of like my growth alignment and alignment when it comes to other people whether i am wasting my time my breath my effort know what i need for myself so it's kind of like are you speaking life into me you know what i mean because i know i am with you i just want to align myself with like-minded people and i pray that god blesses me with beneficial community because that's just where it's at i don't know i don't know if it's a 30 thing you let me know you can put it in the comments i'm just like ugh girl if i ain't growing i ain't going and that's just that so i have two concealers they're both by maybelline i'm first going to use this maybelline fit me concealer this one is a little closer to my foundation color as well as the maybelline uh instant age rewinder bracelet so i'm going to put the one closer to my skin color under my eyes and then i'm going to top it with the lighter foundation or concealer and then blend it one thing i noticed is like my wardrobe so like the things that i'm wearing i don't want anything that just doesn't speak grown woman i ain't I've been noticing conversations just with young people. <laughs> I try to give people from 1998 and up a credit, but if it's like 99 and 2000, there's nothing we need to be talking about. It even went down to like the music I was listening to. Girl, I know this is like so many categories, but when I tell you I've been purging, it's not a game. Like I was listening to some music. I ain't gonna lie. When I get in the car and I want some get right, I listen to my man Gunna. And Gunna was saying some stuff and I was just like, Gunna, if we was in a conversation, like in real life, I don't know if I talk to you. <laughs> because I don't want to just talk about sex. Why are we always talking about sex? What is up with rap music nowadays? Like, I was like, you know what? For the simple fact that I wasn't really listening to music for the words, but rather just the beat, I might as well just listen to instrumentals. Which means I might as well just listen to jazz. Ugh, Maya. You're just growing. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm molding. What is it? Molting? Molding? Molting? What do cards do? Put it in the comments. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit, work on my brows real quick, and then we're gonna go back to the concealer. 
Okay, for the brows, just the OG MAC pencil in spikes. Actually, my brows threaded, so I don't need to do too much to them. Ironically, tonight we are going to a J show. It's at the LACMA, which is pretty much the museum out here in LA. I'm sorry, I can't talk into my brows. One second, please. All right, so the brows are done, and we're about to smooth in this concealer. It's gonna sit here for a minute, so it should be good. I just want better for me and my family. Like, I wanna buy a house. Here in California, it's not cheap. So trying to find like the right space and where you want to go to i told you i wanted to get married trying to figure out when i want to have a family where am i raising them trying to let god and life lead me all right so i'm about to set my face with this airspan loose face powder and then i'm gonna go and contour with this true complexion contour palette there you're gonna go in with this sudden brush and just set this under eye really quick this comes from somebody who's not an expert in makeup like at all and i'm actually gonna use the same contour for an eyeshadow because i just want to keep it all like neutral and plain i don't know what y'all thinking we're gonna need you to invest in some makeup classes i agree but we're gonna see what this look like first i feel like hey as long as this look good to me i don't think it matters i get my lashes done now and i wear a lot of aqua for so i just be like hey a glossy lip in the face with a lash it's kind of like a look for me filling them brows and you good to go <laughs> and then we gonna add some blush file i've been becoming so anxious to the point where wanting to change my life has caused me to stay stagnant because i am trying to sit here trying to do the perfect thing for the next step in my life to the point where i'm not moving at all i've been finding myself being a hypocrite telling other people like how to further themselves within their careers not being able to take the advice myself Ooh, really sad i just want so much for my 30s i want to go to paris for my birthday i feel like it'll all happen i just need to have my patience also thank you for just like the times that i was able to learn i'm talking to god i thank you <laughs> for the times that i were able to learn from just like my mistakes as a 20 year old how i'm able to help other people push forward and grow from those said mistakes and not make the same as i made. reading books like i never really read as many books as i do now and i'm actually grateful there's one called show your work such a great book for creatives recommended that at a young age in my 20s didn't really understand the impact of it until now and i'm so grateful i'm so grateful all right and then this more piece that i spray okay i have this matte lip liner by nyx it is in sandstorm i think this is a good enough color it's like i'm just coloring in my lips like my own lip color mm builds okay and then i'm gonna do this nyx butter gloss brim brulee so this on this is a pinky nude okay and this is the finished makeup look we got going on now let's get to the outfits this is the dress these uh pretty little thing flats okay the tassel earrings to go with the tassel shoes kind of giving vacation and i am wearing this tom ford soleil blanc body oil and then i'm gonna mix it with this uh mugler alien perfume We got the tassel earrings to go with the tassel shoes and then this beaded tan bag because the shoes are tan so that's going to coordinate with this and this is the final look thank you everybody for watching i love you if you have any advice for me as a 30 year old please put it in the comments because i need it sis and i will see you in the next video